Hey guys, Jim back with a video. Um, I got a couple of things in the mail today that I'm going to bubble for you guys. One thing goes to my TV collection, and one thing I got, which I can't, I'm glad I finally picked up. So let's get into it. I'll show you the two DVDs I got in today in the mail. So the first thing coming out is Little House on the Prairie, the Legacy, the Legacy movie collection. Now this is um the three movie length special that you need to finish the series. Um. I still have, I have, actually have a Little House in the Prairie season coming on Blu-ray that I wrote. I'll show you guys when I get it. That only leaves me two seasons to get, and I have all my Little Houses complete. And I picked this up, it was only $10, because like I said, the movies, you need to complete the series. So now I finally got the movie Legacy Collection. Um, this comes with, um, these were all shot in 83, 84, or 83, 84 movies. And the last one in 1984, when it aired, was the final of the series, which ended the series. It comes with, uh, Look Back to Yesterday, Bless All the Dear Children, and The Last Farewell. I think they're all on one desk at her, I believe. So, and you can't get these ones on Blu-ray like you can the regular seasons. Like, I've collected the regular seasons on Blu-ray. These you can't get on Blu-ray. They're only, they're only on DVD, the movies. You can't get them on Blu-ray, so... I had to get them on... They would have been on Blu-ray when I got them on Blu-ray because I got the seasons on Blu-ray, but the, the movies aren't available on Blu-ray, so I had to get them on DVD. So, yeah. So, there's a little house. There's, of course, it's got the French in it because this is a Canadian release, so, of course, it's got the French on there. I got this off Amazon. Actually, they had it on for sale for nine for nine ninety nine for ten bucks. So I grabbed it while it was on sale. Can't wait to get around to watching these. I've seen all Little Houses uh, seasons. I can't remember. I, I think I've seen these movies before, but not since I was a kid. Like when watching the reruns of Little House, I haven't seen these in a good long time. So I can't wait to relive and watch these again. The farewell movies. It'll be great to watch them. So yeah. As you can see, my little houses on Blu-ray are almost complete. There's a stack of them right there. I got one coming in the mail, and I only need eight and nine. Seasons eight and nine, and my little house will be completed. There they are right there. All in blue. And a few of these do have slip covers, but I put the slip covers up so they wouldn't get ruined. I think there's three or four that come with slip covers out of these ones. So, yeah. But, yeah, I finally have, like I said, all the little houses... I loved that show. I watched that show all the time as a kid growing up, reruns of it. And I loved it. A little House in the Prairie. So. And I'm used to watch it when she was a kid all the time, too. Watch Little House in the Prairie. And my dad, I think, used to watch it, too, as well. He used to love Little House in the Prairie, too. And my grandparents watched it all the time. It was just a great series. So, yeah. So, finally, had, like I said, to have the movie collection legacy in my collection. So, now, like I said, it only leaves me three seasons to get. My little houses are completed. The whole series, finally. And the one other thing I picked up, guys, is another Picarama that I didn't have. The Picarama series. Um, released by Vin this is released by Vinegar Syndrome. And this comes with Nasty Nurses from 1983. These are both Paul, Paul Vitale films, and these are the earliest known ones that he directed. Um, it says, Paul Vitale was one of the last workhorse filmmakers in... In the hardcore theatrical era, known for his glossy production values and eye for ecranism, he presents here two of his early feature films. So you get Nasty Nurses, which starred John Holmes and Kay Parker, which is one of my favorites. Love that one. I haven't seen that one in a long time. I seen that on VHS years back. Um, that's a good one. And then it also comes with Let's Talk Sex from 1983, which stars you know Bridget and Monette, Becky Savage, and all them guys. Um, uh, and it also has Tom Byron, one of his earliest known roles. I think everybody, if anybody don't know who Tom Byron is, um, he just, in the last few years, passed Ron Jeremy on the movie adult movie database with the most credits, like in, appearing in the most movies. He, he passed Ron Jeremy in uh, the most movie credits. He started the business like in 1982, and he always had that you know like, that kid look face, face on it that you always had like the really young kid look. And then in the late 80s, he had more like the biker look. He had like the long hair, and he had facial hair, and I think he had a couple of tattoos by then, but. And then he went back to like the businessman type. And then he changes like a lot over the years. But he he now works as an Uber driver, Tom Byron. Believe it or not, he left the industry for good in 2015. No longer works in the industry. But yeah, he's if you look up the uh, the movie database, he does he does have the most credit for a male story. He actually passed Ron Jeremy with the most credits. So yeah. But anyways, this these both of these films were scanned in 2K from the original 35 mm original negatives uh, and, and the tactical trailer for both films. And the combined cast includes Kay Parker, the King of Porn, John Holmes, you got uh, Kitten Novatad, you got Bridget Monette, Kimberly Car uh, Carson, Paul Thomas, Becky Savage, and Herschel Savage. 
So yeah, I picked this one up. I have a few of these in my collection. These peak aroma double features by Vinegar Syndrome. I like these things. I didn't have this one, so I got it. It was on sale for $14.95 for $15. Bucks, so I got it from my collection. And I also picked up Little House, uh, like I said, movie uh, legacy collection, which I was happy to get. So yeah. So anyways, guys, within this video, I hope you enjoyed what I got in the mail. I got a couple more things coming in next week, which I'll show you what I get in the mail. Especially that Little House in the Prairie Season Blu-ray. I can't wait for that. When that comes in, I'm going to show you guys. I can't wait to get it. Uh, the season six little house in Prairie Blue, and I'll show you guys when I get it in the mail. But anyways, until my next video, guys, I'll see you then. Oh, and also next week once I get all my stuff in the mail, which I hope I get that season coming next week. It's coming all the way from Nova Scotia, so to Ontario where I live. So hopefully I'll get it by next week. But when I do get it, I'm gonna do all my haul for this month, all my July pickups in one video, like all the stuff I've gotten in the month of July. I only started doing that last month, but I'm gonna start doing it every month all my month's pickups. So you can look forward to that video coming at the end of the month too as well. I'll even have a couple ones in there that I didn't show on here that I never shown in, uh, in any unbubbling or anything so you can look forward to that so anyways guys I'll see you in my next video take care I'm out bye